Today on Curious Journey, we explore the San Antonio legend of the haunted ghost tracks. Get out of the way, Gilberto! As the story goes, decades ago, a horrible tragedy on the southeast side of San Antonio, Texas occurred. A school bus full of children was stuck on a railroad crossing, and unfortunately a large freight train was barreling through at almost the same time. No matter what the driver did, he could not get the bus out of the way in time, and they were hit by the train. All the children perished. But the story does not end there. Months after the tragedy, reports of a curious phenomenon started to surface. Drivers who passed by the same crossing and either lost power to their vehicle, ran out of gas, or got stuck on the tracks in some way, experienced a sort of helping hand. Inexplicably, their vehicles were pushed out of the way, safely to the other side of the tracks. Was this just a natural phenomenon? Or were the spirits of children guarding this crossing, determined to prevent others from suffering their terrible fate? Why don't we find out? as we journey to the San Antonio Ghost Tracks. The southeast side of San Antonio is sparsely developed, with a few neighborhoods and built-up areas giving way to natural landmarks and raw terrain. We find our exit on Southton Road and soon find the neighborhood and street that leads up to the crossing. Interestingly, we see that the streets around this area bear the old-fashioned names of children. I wonder if there was a reason for this sometime in the past, perhaps? Turning on Shane Road, a winding quiet street leads us to our destination. Excitement increasing as my little experiment is about to begin. We find a safe spot so I can set up. I clean a section of my truck, making sure there is nothing that will interfere with the experiment. Then I apply some baby powder, which should help in capturing any evidence of paranormal assistance. I do so in a precise and scientific manner. And with the assistance of my eager wife, the truck is placed in neutral and the experiment begins. Immediately the truck begins to move, picking up speed as it approaches the crossing, then over the crossing and safely to the other side. But did we capture any evidence? Are there any child-sized fingerprints decorating a section of my tailgate? Sadly, no. Maybe the children slept late this morning. Or maybe they didn't feel the need to save anyone today. That's kind of rough. Or maybe there is an easier and more plausible explanation. First of all, it turns out that a survey of the area determined that the road has a small slope heading towards a crossing. You put your vehicle in neutral and gravity does the rest. Any fingerprints discovered on your tailgate are probably your own. That is why nothing showed up when I cleaned the back of my truck before applying the baby powder. As for those names on the streets, just the names of the sons and daughters of the men who owned the property before the city took it over, and just decided to keep it that way. But none of this really matters because we all love a good scary story. Even better, a scary story that you can be a part of. For many decades, the San Antonio Ghost Tracks has offered an interesting thrill for young people on warm summer nights and fired up the imagination of others interested in the occult, as evidenced by the mounds of spent baby powder I found. There is talk of the city regrading the pavement around the crossing which would level out the slope and stop vehicles from moving in neutral. But it hasn't happened yet. So you better hurry. Grab a friend or a special someone. 
tell the tragic tale as you approach the crossing and continue to keep alive that weird little corner of San Antonio folklore. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying these as much as I enjoy making them. So please, share and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye now.